Hey, good morning, everyone. So a lot of folks have asked me to do a review on the F750 Super Duty truck. The front frame section up here. With the 22 and a half inch commercial wheels. This thing's huge. It is a full medium duty truck. The exterior gas tanks. Give you an idea real quick. So this is a level of the door handle on a F550. And this is a level of a door handle on an F650 or 750. And the 650, which are essentially the same cab. Difference in tow mirrors. The frame in the back. Full open C channel frame. This truck is equipped with air brakes. One of the things that Ford mentions about this particular frame is that it's completely flat all the way across, that all of your cables and lines are below the actual upper rail quarter inch thick cross members, leaf springs, and again let's kind of compare the size here to an F550. This is a far, far bigger chassis. Again, 22.5 inch tires. Here's the rear axle. Give you an idea, those parts of the axle right there are a good six inches thick. I believe it's a Dana rear axle. Like most medium duty trucks, they're all pretty much going to be open C-channel configurations. That way they're easier to upfit, as well as you do want some flex in the frame um, when you're carrying extremely heavy loads. Otherwise it puts a tremendous amount of pressure on these portions of your suspension. your air brakes. These, of course, do have the 6.7 liter power stroke. So in the past, you'd actually get these trucks uh, equipped with the Cummins motor. But since Ford uh, no longer uses Cummins motor in their medium duty trucks, you're actually getting it with a 6.7 liter power stroke. And here's the interior of the truck. Again, very lackluster. It has a CD player. This actually has um, probably more of like a higher-end XL package. It does have manual windows, but it does have the, uh, the higher-end stereo on this particular unit. And keep in mind that Ford, for the Super Duty pickup, went to an all-new uh, cab, which is essentially off of the F-150. But for this particular truck, they uh, have stuck with the previous generation Super Duty interior. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison of a 750 to a 550. Again, the 550 is kind of based off of the pickup truck front end, and the 750 is going to be on their medium-duty chassis line. Just the components in general are far, far larger on the, uh, on the 750. It also, as you can tell, 
uses leaf springs up front. The picture doesn't do it justice, but they're massive leaf springs. Anyways, guys, just wanted to do a quick video on the 750 because I know a lot of folks have asked about it. Um, I'm not probably going to test drive this. I don't think I need to. Plus, it's kind of boxed in with a bunch of other commercial vehicles. If you have any questions or comments or, uh, comments or feedback, please leave them in the field below. Thanks, and please subscribe.